Hello there, wonderful ninth graders, and welcome to your summary under 10 minute session with me. Today, we are going over Ishwaran, the storyteller from Moments. So, let's get right to it. Ishwaran, the storyteller, is an interesting story written by R.K. Narayan about Mahindra, a bachelor and junior supervisor in a firm who stayed with his cook, Ishwaran. Mahendra had a transferable job, so he used to keep moving from one place to another very often as per the orders of his head office. However, Ishwaran would always accompany him wherever he went. He took great care of Mahendra and shared interesting stories with him. Ishwaran would buy fresh vegetables and cook delicious meals for Mahendra. While his master was away at work, Ishwaran would clean up the house, wash utensils and have a bath leisurely. He was very fond of reading popular Tamil thrillers during his free time. As a result, he often invented his own thrillers and would tell those stories to Mahendra when he returned from work. Mahendra too enjoyed listening to his cook stories as he would listen to every story or struck. Once, Ishwaran told him about the story of a wild elephant and how he controlled the menacing animal that had gone mad. He told Mahendra that he belonged to a place that was famous for timber, where he had seen logs of wood carried by elephants. These animals were fed a huge amount of food, but when they went wild, they went beyond the control of even the most experienced Mahout. One fine day, an elephant entered the school premises where children were playing and broke through the brick wall. All the children and teachers were terrified of the wild tusker and rushed to, to a safe place to save themselves. Now, when the wild tusker saw Ishwaran, it lifted its trunk and rushed towards him menacingly. Mustering up all of his force and courage, Ishwaran quickly whacked its third toenail and the elephant shivered head to foot and collapsed. Mahendra was astounded at his cook's courage after listening to his story. On another occasion, Ishwaran had prepared a special meal for dinner on an auspicious day. He told Mahendra that he had prepared several delicacies to feed the spirits of their ancestors. Mahendra enjoyed the meal and complimented his cook on his culinary, culinary skills. As usual, Ishwaran began with this storytelling, but this time he talked about supernatural elements. He said he was not afraid of ghosts and he was brave enough to deal with them. Ishwaran told his master that the place they stayed in was once a burial ground and he had also seen ghosts around him. He particularly mentioned a gruesome ghost of a woman which appeared on and off at midnight during a full moon night. Hearing this, Mahendra was scared and shivered at the description and rebuked Ishwaran, stating that ghosts don't exist. Soon, he retired to bed but could not sleep as the discussion about the ghost woman was hovering in his mind. From that day onwards, Mahendra would go to sleep feeling uneasy thinking about the female ghost. One night, as Mahendra was sleeping, he suddenly woke up from his sleep by a low moaning sound coming from his window. Out of curiosity, he looked out of the window and saw the night sky was filled with moonlight and noticed a dark cloud-shaped structure that was clutching a bundle. Seeing this, Mahendra started sweating profusely and fell on his pillow, gasping. The next morning, Ish Ishwaran inquired his master about the female ghost and moaning sound that was coming from his room. A chill ran down Mahendra's spine and he decided to leave the haunted place immediately and forever. That brings us to the end of the summary. Alright, so if you want 2000 plus hours of free content and live sessions to help you out every single day, all the way from 11am to 9pm, then you need to subscribe to the Baiju's 9th and 10th channel right now. If you want a comprehensive and extensive feedback on what your academic career should be focused towards in order for you to become whatever it is that you are meant to become then 
do appear for the Baichu's National Scholastic and Personality Test. Not only will you get extensive feedback about where your aptitude lies and what you are the best at, you will also stand a chance to win scholarships. All other details about the test can be found in the link in the description and you can see the exam dates on your screen right now. All of these are weekend so you can easily go and take the exam. And any other details that you would like, you can find a phone number in the link that you can call. It's a toll-free number. You can register through the number or you can get any other information that you require. And we are on a hunt for you, you being the next quiz master. So if you think you are the next quiz master and you still haven't registered, then register now and you can come on set None other than your favorite Tarana ma'am is hosting the quiz this time. So I want to see you there. Register right away. I will see you next time with another summary. Till then, you take care.